Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking for this, and since the season's finally over, I can tell you guys how our ratchet system works. So here are the internals of the ratchet. So we have a sprocket here. Uh, usually in our actual ratchet, we have a bigger sprocket so that um, it actually meshes better, but I don't have one right now, so I'm gonna use a small one. And here we have a standoff connector that's rubber banded as our stopper. And we actually used a pulley belt for this rubber band. You can just use a regular rubber band if you want. So um, you can see that if we spin this sprocket, it allows it to spin and this thing just skips on it. But then when you try to spin the sprocket the other way, it locks and doesn't let you spin. So that's how a ratchet works. So then we can just take our other plate right here and close up the whole thing like so. Oh, there we go. So then you can see that if I spin this way, it allows it to spin. But then when you try to reverse, it doesn't spin. So basically then you just put it on a beam like so. And this shaft is going to be connected to the intake so that when the intake spins forward, sucking in balls, um, the flipper is down forward. But then when you reverse, it flips back and doesn't let any more balls go in. So this ratchet is actually based off of um, 6699 Unicorn Puncher's ratchet. We modified it slightly with the bigger sprocket. So hopefully that helped you guys if you want to build a cool robot. And I'll see you guys soon, I guess.